In this video, I'm going to describe the five steps you can use to migrate a Windows Server 2008 machine to Azure in a single day. I am Vadim Vladimirsky, the CEO of Nerdio. And if you're an MSP looking to build or grow your Azure practice, then this is the channel for you. Extended support for Windows Server 2008 is going to end on January 14th, 2020. At that time, Microsoft will stop providing security updates to this operating system, leaving any servers running this OS vulnerable to future cyber attacks. The good news is, is that if you migrate this server into Azure, Microsoft will provide extended security updates at no additional charge for three more years. The question becomes, how easy is it and how much does it cost to migrate such a server to Azure? Let's take a look at the five steps involved in this process. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to assume that you already have an Azure subscription where this server can be migrated into. So step number one is going to be to deploy an Azure environment into which your server can be migrated. The easiest way to do this is by using Nerdio for Azure. If all you're gonna be migrating are gonna be server workloads without virtual desktops, the Nerdio for Azure core is the product that you should select. Nerdio for Azure Core is free to use for 30 days. And if you're an MSP, your very first core account is available free for life for internal use purposes. Otherwise, it's only $59 per month. Once the Azure environment is set up, the next step is going to be enabling the Azure Recover Services Vault for a storage account to be created where the server can be replicated to. All you need to do is log into the Nerdio admin portal click on Backup and DR, click on In-Region Backup, and turn it on. What that's going to do is set up a backup vault for you automatically in the Azure subscription and create a place for the server migration to take place. The next step is going to be establishing connectivity between the Azure environment and the on-premises environment where the server is running. To do this, you're going to need to enable VPN, and that's done from the Nerdio admin portal under the Network VPN Connection screen. Simply click the on button and everything will be created for you automatically in the Azure subscription. All you'll need to do is add a connection. Once the VPN connection is established, you're going to want to enable hybrid AD functionality. What this will do is it will extend your existing Active Directory, which is where your server is currently joined on premises. It's going to extend this Active Directory into the Azure environment allowing you to move the server without having to reconfigure its domain membership. In the Nerdio admin portal, you're gonna go into onboard section, click on domains, and enable domain trust and hybrid AD from there. Once you do that, you'll be able to move servers from source into the destination, which is in Azure, without having to reconfigure them. Once the environment is created, VPN is established and hybrid AD is set up, you're going to want to use a replication tool such as Azure Site Recovery or ASR for actually moving the bits and migrating the server from on-premises into Azure. The good news is that ASR is free for the first 30 days and it's really meant to be used as a free tool for migration. So all you need to do is log into the Azure portal and go through the ASR configuration process to start replicating your server into the newly provisioned Azure environment. Once the server is in Azure, you will have automatic security updates extended to you for next three years at no additional charge, and you'll have the server running in a high-class cloud environment with the ability to protect it, back it up, and manage it uh, easily through the Nerdio admin portal. Be sure to click on the link below this video for a step-by-step -step instruction guide on how to perform this process it contains a lot of detail and many screenshots to help walk you through the process.